Hi everyone, it's Cindy Porter back today to share with you a project for Art and Soul Studio. I created this uh, art journal page testing out the new Marabou, well new to me I should say, Marabou Art Crayons. I hope I'm saying that sort of correctly. Um, I just wanted to experiment with them. I hadn't ever used them before. Um, and I wanted to see how they reacted both uh, to water and dry and um, check out how their colour concentration lasted and what I could manage to achieve with them. I started off um, using my finger to blend them uh, which was quite uh, successful as you can see the black area is blended quite well um, I did find that for larger areas, as with most of the uh, crayons when you use them, if you use water and a brush you get a much quicker, easier blend. And um, what I ended up doing, I found I liked the best, was what I'm doing here now, which was do an initial coat blended with the brush and water then add some more crayon and blend that with my finger over the top. I'm working on a page from my Express It Mixed Media journal. It's an A5, A5 size and it uh, was the one that I got in my Soul Journey um, kit that I purchased. Um, that's the funds are going towards uh, some charities. Uh, if you don't know about Soul Journey, um, just uh, search that on Facebook for the Soul Journey 2018 group and you can learn all about it. Great cause. Um, you'll see here I am just blending away all the different colours and you can see how easily they are blending together. They're really great to work with. Oops, there goes my first mistake, which I was quite pleasantly surprised at how easily I could remove and then correct. And I did the same thing here to put in my sun spot going down. I actually used the baby wipe to remove most of the color so that I could put the lighter yellow over the top. I think it's actually called caramel. Um, the colour. I have a list of colours uh, listed uh, on the blog post uh, explaining all the colours that I've used in the, uh, the layout spread today. But here you'll see I can layer up these crayons really well and just get deeper and deeper colour depth in the uh, page here. They work really really well. I did find that after I'd done the first coat with using the wet brush um, that I preferred then while the page was still damp to blend with my finger rather than keep blending with the br brush. Here you'll see I've now grabbed a Stabilo All pencil. Love these pencils, can't go past them. Um, you can get them in a few different colours uh, if you're lucky enough to find them. This is a black one I'm using today and you'll see its true beauty come out when I get the wet brush onto it. Um, in a little bit I'm just sketching out my tree here. Um, they also come in a white and a brown and a graphite and um, I have a blue one as well. Um, I think you can also get red and green or you used to be able to but they are a lot rarer the colours. You'll find the black and white um, much easier to get your hands on and even the graphite. Um, they're, they're fabulous to use um, and once you wet them up the depth of colour that the pencils give is amazing. And here what I'm doing to get even stronger colour than um, wiping over it with a wet paintbrush is I am actually dipping the pencil end into 
a spot of water on my craft sheet there and that is what's giving me such rich dark black colouring on the page. I'm just continually sketching out this tree until I'm happy with it. Now it's a fabulous pencil and the results I love. I put shading on everything using this pencil when I create. I was really impressed with the <coughs> Marabou Art Crayons. Sorry, excuse my voice there. I'm going a bit croaky. Um, the, they're rich and creamy and um, they lay down plenty of colour. Um, I can't actually recommend them highly enough. I was quite pleasantly surprised at how good they were to use. So I think I'll definitely have to be adding to my stash in the near future. Still working on this tree. Apparently I spent a lot of time on it. Just getting it to look exactly how I want. Still adding a few extra touches, a few extra little branches here and there. And some more leaves. Just trying to make it look fuller at the top of the, the page here. While I'm doing this, I'm trying to think of what saying or wording I'm going to put onto this page. I usually like to put some sort of wording onto my journal pages uh, when I do them. I often start just for the joy of creating art when I do a, an art journal page rather than having something to say. The something to say usually comes out of what I've created most of the time. See, you can see me here mulling over if I've got enough leaves on that tree and if I'm happy with it, which obviously I'm not because I keep going back, putting a little bit of grass there at the bottom, even though it's difficult to see. In real life it stands out and you can actually see the uh, little grass uh, sprigs in the um, shadows at the bottom of the page there. Just adding in a couple more branches and leaves. Just want it to, to look like a nice full tree. Aussie tree of course. and a few more. But yes, if you have the opportunity to try out these uh, art crayons, I would strongly recommend them. Um, very easy to use, very easy to blend. Worked well with the water as well. Um, good results all around. So continuing this tree over and over, just making it look a little bit fuller and a little bit fuller. Okay, now I'm trying to decide about my wording and I've just sketched that out with a pencil before grabbing a Sharpie, an ultra fine Sharpie black one to uh, write my words in. Just gave it a little dry so that I could then add a an extra layer of the um, wording. I'm just going around it and thickening up my letters making the uh, quote stand out just that little bit. And I find when you write on uh, things like art crayons and everything with your pens you have to, I like to give it a little bit of heat like you saw to set it and I will often spray with a fixative spray that protects your pens from getting all clogged up from the crayon uh, that you have on your page and gives you a working surface that your pens will work, work on and write on better. Um, 
so off camera which you didn't see I actually did give this page a spray with a workable fixative um, they dry ultra fast uh, only only a minute or two for the for it to dry so you can keep going um, but you do have to take them outside to spray in a well ventilated area um, so that I did off camera before I started uh, doing this lettering as you can see I'm just thickening up those letters making it stand out and easier to read and I thought I had finished but I wasn't a hundred percent happy with it and decided it actually looked a little bit flat so I've come back with my white marabou crayon and I'm actually putting highlights on the underside of the leaves um, to uh, show the reflection of the setting sun and the same as I put it on the inside of the tree branches and the grass stems you'll see me do shortly as well um, to reflect that uh, brightness as the sun is uh, setting was what I was going for and I thought it gave the page um, a lot more depth just having to clean off my brush from the blacks to below um, as I go trying to put that white on it is subtle but it did make a big difference to um, what the actual page looks like in real life and they, in the close-ups you get to see those subtle shadows and highlights that that white gave it at the end. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for joining me. Till next time, bye for now.